annual Liberty Political Action Conference. And I want to welcome all of you here. You know, it's only fitting that we would celebrate liberty in Virginia. Virginia is steeped in American history, where the message of liberty was born. Virginia is the first permanent English settlement established in America in Jamestown in 1607. Virginia played a central role during the American Revolution for Patrick F Henry's fiery oration, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death, to the eventual surrender of Lord Cornwallis to Washington at Yorktown. And during the Civil War, Virginia saw more battles fought on her soil than any other state. Virginia also holds the distinction of being the birthplace of many of our greatest American statesmen, like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and Patrick Henry, Woo! as well as many U.S. presidents. Some even say that Virginia's history is America's history. During this conference, you will have the privilege of hearing from many modern-day statesmen. They're each contributing in their own way to the fight to return liberty to the American lexicon once again. On Saturday, Mike Rothfeld's class will provide you with the best grassroots training available anywhere that will enable you to maximize your efforts at all levels of government. You know, it was in 2008 when several hundred volunteers from the Ron Paul campaign were invited to St. Paul, Minnesota to the Leadership Summit for Mike Rothfeld's grassroots training. And I was fortunate enough to be one of them. And it was at that summit that Campaign for Liberty was born. I had never been involved in politics prior to Ron Paul's 2008 campaign. And much to my surprise, neither had anyone else who attended that <laughs> summit. <laughs> but within a couple of months of taking that class, I launched my first ever legislative campaign against real ID, reductive dangerous ID, and won. <laughs> <one. laughs> Our Virginia team used our political prowess to force our Virginia State Legislature to invoke the Tenth Amendment against Obamacare and most recently the NDAA. <laughs> and it was our State Representative Delegate Bob Marshall who introduced all three of those bills and he'll be joining us tomorrow morning so I hope you'll join us for that. It was our grassroots effort for the passage of the Virginia Health Care Freedom Act that served as the basis for our Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli's famous lawsuit against Obamacare. And our Attorney General will be here with us Saturday evening, so make sure you hang out for that. But bad federal law wasn't our only target. Our grassroots efforts successfully forced the repeal of Virginia's statewide smart growth law. Yeah. And in response to the infamous Kelo decision, we forced the vote that would put property rights protection on the ballot this November to be government be able to use eminent domain to take property from one private landowner and give it to another. <laughs> Our grassroots efforts have stopped the passage of countless bad state laws and local ordinances that would rob us of liberty and property. But we didn't stop there. We took our fight to the party level where corruption in government and corruption in politics takes its evil roots. And in spite of the cheating and evil tactics by corrupt party leaders, our own Chris Stearns was elected as third district chairman of the GOP. Chris, <laughs> He was also elected to serve on the RNC platform committee where many of our ideas were adopted. So we're very proud of Chris. 
Others were elected to as county chairmen and members of the State Central Committee, which serves as the governing body of the GOP. But Virginia is not the only success story in Campaign for Liberty. There are countless local, county, and state leaders from all across the country who have similar success stories to tell. Over the next few days, you'll be hearing from a number of them. You see, we at Campaign for Liberty have an obsession. It's called Liberty. Woo! And it's that obsession that has driven us to accomplish more in four short years than other organizations have been able to accomplish in decades. Our grassroots leaves no stone unturned. We literally take our fight to the battlefront in politics at every corner. Over the next few days, you'll also hear from quite a number of like-minded elected representatives of the people who really do put principle above politics. They've been fighting a long campaign for liberty, blazing the path to free markets, sound money, individual liberty, constitutional principles, and a common sense foreign policy. And when the opportunity doesn't exist to elect candidates with integrity, you have to have the skills to recruit others and develop a strategy to force integrity in politics. And I know of no other organization that can provide you with better tools to write your own success story than Campaign for Liberty. The class we offer on Saturday is just one of many classes available to the grassroots. Campaign for Liberty has an ongoing program of intense training so that we can continue to hone our skills and grow our numbers for even greater success. Before the 2008 campaign, I had never been involved in politics before. And today, I'm the State Director of Virginia Campaign for Liberty. Woo! If I can do it, anyone can. So I hope you'll enjoy our conference, take a lot of good notes. I hope you'll also join our team. And together, we will reclaim the republic and restore the Constitution. say with absolute certainty. We are the future. Woo! Thank you.